seal. It's, it's not a full house. All the top management and our employees here. So we should hear something inspiring. So uh, Einstein, Einstein was teaching at Princeton University, and one day he handed over the exam questions to his teaching assistant. The assistant looked at the questions and then asked, Einstein, isn't the same exam questions you had two years in a row? Einstein replied, yes, it is. The questions are still the same, but answers have changed. Throughout the history, human being haven't really asked really different questions. It's all about how to get fulfillment, how to get better health, how to get passion, how to get power. And it's those people who make a new answer to these all the questions that makes biggest difference in the universe. Organization haven't been far from that. While the last 15 years, organization was more regarding optimizations and being more efficient. And some critics say that there is a big transformation and a paradigm shift nowadays from an era of optimization to an era of originations, being top of the line. And to be original, it doesn't need to be first, but it needs to be different and better, being excellent, being distinguished. And isn't it that part of, of our vision in the hospital, to be a world leader in healthcare through innovation and excellency? innovations, which in mind of if and in heart of everyone here. So think about innovation as the new research and development, not as project that started and end, but as ongoing processes and partnership that resulted in different new business model, a new product, a new services. These require different capability to come together and flow freely together because innovation is an iterative process that link lead to merge together. And different capability need to merge in together, and that requires both creative thinking and deductive analytic thinking. So being here in the healthcare sector, in the healthcare sector, the prob the, there is no lack of innovation in the medicines. However, the decision we made in the care delivery, that's what we need. And that's where we require innovations. Being scientists here and from different school of thought and from different disciplines, we always believe in paper and publications and white paper. A great study for best innovation co companies in the world, they found out that 72% of ideas came from employee. Then they did a great survey for those companies. What does innovator seek in those companies? They found out that the first thing is a shared place to incubate, to have a center for this idea, to gather all this idea together, so they can make new answers to the same business problem. And isn't it now you might have an idea? While you're driving to work, you have an idea. What, before going to bed, you have an idea. But you need a hub that to gather all these ideas together. The second thing is increase transparency. From this idea and from this idea, from this idea, we can build great successful project and then reduce redundancy and align with organization themes, objective, and strategic priority. An interesting finding stated that no one said we didn't have enough idea. So companies in the United States, for instance, they have innovation centers, and we have a significant increase. So in 2018, we have around 7,000 innovation centers to provide new answers. If you look around the best 500 companies in the globe, they all form some kind of innovation center, innovation incubating, innovation hub to accelerate even innovation management. And speaking about innovation, we always mention Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs says innovation requires creativity. And creativity requires you think different. So let's take a quick journey to those innovation centers and having a heat map. And of course, Silicon Valley, we have 53 innovation centers. While in Europe, lots of innovation centers. And Singapore, there are seven. So let's move our journey now to nationwide to have benchmark with the Global Innovation Index report for 2018. In Europe, we have the, f the first five countries in Europe and with around 80 indicators. Switzerland scored number one with 68. Uh, sc they're scoring 68. And then uh, Singapore came number five. United States came number six. 
In the MENA region, we have United Arab Emirates came around, they scored with the global leader around 37. Saudi Arabia, we are 59. And nowadays, we have different innovation centers, but it's all regarding universities, in King Saudi University, in Kaos, in King Abdulaziz University, but it's more in the research oriented, not linked with the industries. So, Mayo Clinic, they have their innovation center in the healthcare center to benchmark with our same field. And they scan their idea, they experiment it, prototype it, and then they implement it in their business model. So what should we do? We always need to think big, start small, and move fast. With our methodology to connect different dots from different departments. And then we can start with just as simple as having innovation day, where we encourage our employees to share their idea in, the, in small hub or small centers. So it can be as a bank of idea, a bank of innovations, which can be open for the public and for our employee as well. We can have it to listen to them. Just as simple as just send your idea with your name. And then we can have start with innovation day. And then we can identify the champion, identify the owner, and then connecting different departments together. And having a roadmap, having a committee, and then you can start even with having innovation badge for the successful story. With that being said, Einstein, he proved the relativity theory. He brings new answer to these old questions and make huge difference in the universe. So my question is to you. What's your new answer to these old questions? Because the old answer will not take us to new places. So answers will keep changing. Keep up or be left behind. Thank you.